Good evening, good evening, good evening. Thank you all so, so much for being here. I pray that you've had a great and glorious day. I'm going to ask everybody to do me one quick favor. Go ahead and hit that share button. Get the word out that we are live here tonight for our Tune Up Tuesday Bible study. Man, I'm super excited about what God is doing. I'm asking that you all continue to pray with and for us as we continue to do God's work in the kingdom. Man, I'm telling you, all God is really up to something in this season. Um Let's uh, let's do a couple of quick uh, quick announcements. Remember, this Sunday is our graduate Sunday, as we have celebrating all graduates this Sunday, um, and all youth. We're graduating, celebrating all youths, youth and graduates on this Sunday at twelve thirty p.m. So I'm asking everybody have your family come out. Let's celebrate our children uh, as a whole on this Sunday at twelve thirty. Man, I'm telling you, it is going to be an amazing time. And God, uh, leading up to this week, we want to make sure also that we are registering. I want to make sure that we are registering for our, uh, we're registering for our uh, men's gathering next Saturday at uh, the men's gathering next Saturday at uh, ten. Uh, registration is fifteen dollars. Men, I'm asking you please uh, click the link tree, uh, click the uh, QR code. Let's go on and get our information uh, out. Let's get our word out that we are trying to have all men uh, show up. All age groups show up uh, next Saturday. We're asking you to come out. Let's support what God is doing. I'm telling you, it's going to be a great time. And also next Sunday at 1230, next Sunday, third Sunday at 1230, we're going to have an awesome, awesome, awesome time for Father's Day. Father's Day is going to be next Sunday. Um, so we want to have everybody out on next Sunday to celebrate what God is doing next Sunday. Also, <clears throat> you can register for our um, perfect aim, perfect aim uh, marriage uh, ministry game going out. So we want to have perfect aim going out. Uh, great event happening this sat next Saturday on the 30th, on Friday, sorry, on the 30th at uh, 630 to 8 o'clock. We're asking everybody to sign up. Uh, link tree, uh, hit that information out, and uh, you can sign up on the website uh, through Link Tree to be a part of what God is doing there. Amen. Thank you all so much. So let's get let's get into the to, to the lesson tonight. Uh, we have been talking about this this uh, thing pivot. We've been talking about pivoting, talking about moving this thing to the next level and changing out some stuff. And so I'm really excited about what God is doing with uh, Victory Community Church. Man, God is doing some awesome, awesome, awesome things. And I don't think that it happens by happenstance. I don't think that it just shows up. It's because a lot of hard work goes into it. And what I'm learning is that you you practice what you preach. You practice what you what you work on. You practice what you, you don't always get what you expect, but you always get what you inspect. So we, we have some great things that are happening. And I want to thank the people that are making those things happen. Uh, for the ministry. Let's get into this lesson tonight. Uh, Matthew verses 20, chapter 28, verse 16 through 20 says this. Uh, then the 11 disciples went to Galilee to the mountain where Jesus had told them to go. Uh, verse 17 says, when they saw him, they worshiped him, but some doubted, some doubted. Uh, then Jesus came to them and said, all authority in heaven and in earth has given has been given to me. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations. Watch this, y'all. Go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and uh, the Son and of the Holy Spirit and teaching by God, teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you and surely I am with you always to the very end of age. So tonight we're going to talk about the pivot principle, the pivot principle. This, 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 this principle of pivoting is so 
uh, profound in this thing. It's so, so, so greatly seen in this, 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 this awesomeness that is this text. It's, it's so, so clear of what God is doing in this text. And it's, it's so, so profound to explain the principle of pivoting and what you see in this text is an awesome thing because the first thing you see in this text is that you see the end of Jesus's earthly, uh, Jesus's earthly mission, Jesus's earthly, earthly uh, ministry that he's doing his ministry. His earthly ministry has ended. But not only that, the second thing you see in this text called the passing of the baton passing of the baton. The second thing is, is you see Jesus saying, hey, y'all, what you thought I was going to do, you're going to do. What you what you were ready to cheer me on, what you were ready to see and say that you were ready to live and worried about where you were going to sit. But I want you to understand what you thought that I was going to do for you. We're going to do it together. You all are you all are going to do that. I'm I'm going to step back so you can step up. I'm going to I'm going to decrease so you can increase. I'm going, I am I've done my part by putting in you enough to be able to see what's going to happen next. And then he said, not only do we see the end of, of, of Jesus' earthly ministry, he's not going to do any more miracles physically here with us. He, he says, I'm going away. I'm going away. He says, but then he passes the baton. I'm just not leaving. So everything stops. Watch this, y'all. I'm I just, I'm talking about pivoting because I really want you to hear my heart on this. It's so important for us to understand that if, if, if ministry stops with your absence, you've deemed yourself more powerful than Jesus. Oh my God. I'm teaching and I hadn't even got into my points. If your ministry stops with your absence, then you have more authority, more power, more regulation than Jesus. Y'all not trying to hear me tonight. When Jesus left, he left other people in place to carry the baton. When Jesus left, he said, disciples, y'all can take it from here. He says, watch this. I've done my part. It was never for me to save everybody. It's for you to go and save people. Y'all don't want to hear me tonight because y'all don't understand. The world doesn't understand is that people think that it has to be you. That if it's not about you, that's why, oh my, this is it. This is it. We call it a God complex, not a Jesus complex, Ooh! which means you've pivoted yourself above Jesus to feel like if, and we say this stuff all the time, if I don't do it, who going to do it? Jesus says, I'm gone. Mm -mm, I'm gone, y'all, y'all. I came to them and said, all authority has been given to me. I did my part. The rest of it, y'all got to handle. The rest of it is up to you. I'm, I've done what I was going to do. I've handled what I was going to handle. I've, I've, I've cared for who I, I've healed. I've delivered. I've set free. And the big pivot is this, y'all. What you thought I was going to do, now you go out. Y'all don't want to hear me. Therefore, go out and make, watch this, make copies of yourself. Somebody say copies. Oh, my God. Make copies of yourself. That's the pivot. The pivot is, I don't want you to go and make something new. Go make another you. Woo! What version of you? Okay, can, can we get that, that just just verse 16 on the screen for me one time? Just verse 13, 16 on the screen for me one time. Just one time. Watch this. He says this not to the 12. One moment. Okay. Okay. While we, while we putting that on the screen, somebody put in the chat copies. Copies, 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 copies. He doesn't want something new. He says, I'm going to make copies. Watch this, y'all. Verse 16. Then the 11 disciples went to Galilee. Y'all missed it. Jesus did not tell Judas to make another Judas. Y'all missed it. He had played his part. He had done his role. He had did what he was supposed to do. He says, he says to the 11 that remained, go, watch this, y'all. Go. Make more of you. 
in all the nations. See, you thought we were going to build a kingdom down here. You thought I was, oh, this is it. Because you thought I was going to do it. But what he says is, is that what you was waiting on me to do, I'm going to tap in and let you do it. This is the pivot. Because you only pivot after the resurrection. You only pivot when what you thought was going to work does not work. You only pivot when you feel like it has come to the end of what you expected. And watch this. He says, I've put enough in you that I don't need you to go and create what's missing from you. I need you to go and create another you. Go and create more disciples. Okay, let me get let me get five five things. I got five things, five things tonight. I'm 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 rush through them because I, I don't want to keep you long tonight. The first thing, because we going I don't remember what they called. I think they called it the reporters list or whatever it's called. I was hit with the, the correct terms tonight today. Uh first thing is what is a pivot? Uh Webster says it is a place of turn. It is a it is something that's turned on. It's is that you it's where you turn something. It's 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 as if a pivot. It completely changes the way in which one does something. Watch this. It literally means this. It's that you a pivot. What is a pivot? It's when you turn. Y'all don't want to hear me. We, we used to shout about this in church. Y'all, the old preacher would say it. He picked me up. Y'all don't want to. He turned me around. What, then he placed my feet on solid ground. What does that mean? He pivoted me. He, 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 he turned me. Watch this. Didn't mean he didn't stop using me. Because what God never does is grab you if you sit and steal. He only turns you because when he turns you, he doesn't have to get you moving. Y'all don't want to hear me. See, people are, ex man, I'm going to help somebody tonight. I'm going to help somebody. That, that, that you have tried to figure out why uh, uh, you have not gotten what you wanted to get from God is because you thought the, the what that you needed to do was going to be easy. You're trying to figure out why you're still in the same situation you're in. Come here, V. Mike McKay and Tremaine Hawkins. You don't have to stay in the shape that you're in. Why? Because the potter wants to pivot you. Y'all don't want to hit me. He want to put you back together. But it's not going to look like what it looked like before. Y'all don't want to hear me tonight. You, it's you, but it ain't going to be you. Because you pivoted. See, you thought you had to do it in Houston. You thought you had to do it in Chicago. You thought you could only do it where you were where you were at. But God says, I can be with you always, even to the ends, y'all don't want to hear me, of the earth. Why? Because you got to know what you're doing. What do you what what what's this next season gonna look like? I don't know. I'm just pivoting. I'm just moving. I'm just moving. I'm shifting. I'm turning. I'm I'm going. I'm going to the next phase. I'm going to the next level. I'm going in this next season. I'm going expecting great things. I'm going expecting new things. I'm expecting God to move. What is that? Is? What is it that's going to have to happen? Because what you're doing, what you've done has not worked. What are you going to do? I'm going to pivot. What does that mean? I'm going to turn. Y'all, sometimes it literally means I'm just not going to do what I used to do. Y'all don't want to hear me. Sometimes I go home a different way. Because I don't want to get so comfortable that I refuse to change. I, I sometimes I turn down the wrong road on purpose. Let me see what's back here. Let me see what's going on. What is the pivot? Second thing. Second thing. Second, second thing. Is who pivots? Who does the pivoting? Who does the pivoting? Who does the pivoting? This is amazing. The disciples have to go. Watch this, y'all. Jesus says, go therefore. 
Therefore, go and make disciples in all nations. Y'all missed it. You will only get them. Okay, y'all don't like disciples. Y'all don't like Jesus dying. Y'all don't like disciples. Let's jump all the way back to Old Testament. Y'all, Old Testament. Because if y'all don't believe, if Jesus said it, let me go Old Testament to God say it. God's having a conversation with Joshua. Yeah, Joshua 1. God says to Joshua, watch this, y'all. Who pivots? He says, everywhere your foot treads, y'all don't want to hear me, I will give you. What is the pivot in that, pastor? The pivot is, is that you only get where you are willing to go. Y'all missed it. Y'all missed it. You're trying to figure out why you haven't conquered it, but you cannot conquer it if you don't realize you cannot conquer the stuff that you will not approach, that you will not face, that you will not adjust from, that you will not deal with. You, you're trying to figure out where is the weakness and lack appearing in your life. Let me tell you where it's showing up. The lack and weakness shows up because you have put limits on what you're willing to expect God to do. My God. Pastor Washington, good to see you. Yeah, we, we, we are powerless people. We're powerless over people and places. See, see, the problem is, is that we don't understand that, that the only authority you have comes from who told you to pivot. I can't win. He says, I'm going to give you everything. And watch this. As I was with Mo, man, I could preach that. That right there by itself is enough to shout about. He says, I'm going to give it to you because I told Moses I was going to give it to you. See, a different part of that story in the same chapter, he says, as I was with Moses, I will be. It's the best promise that Joshua could have ever gotten in his whole entire life. It, that enough is enough to shout about. You think that all of this other stuff is it, it, that you should shout about that. But I'm shouting about the fact that he says, as I was with Moses, come on, that was enough for me. Who, who, I'm ready to pivot when you tell me that you're going to be with me like you was with Moses. But the problem is, is that most of us cannot appreciate God promising us, watch this, a same grace anointing. Y'all don't want to hear me. He can't, you cannot appreciate God offering you a same grace anointing when you feel like you're creating your own destiny. You can you self-made. You going up the rough side of the mountain. You doing this all by yourself. Ain't nobody in my family ever did this. I've never seen this done before. No, baby. I don't want to be a trailblazer when God didn't already had a Moses that done done it for me already. Baby, promise me to be with me like you was with Moses because I seen what you could do. That's why I have to pivot. I'm not perfect. I'm a pivoter. <laughs> I made it up. Y'all don't want to hear me. I'm not perfect. I just learned to pivot. See, you keep thinking why I didn't take a loss, why did why this didn't work out, why that why that fell through, why this didn't understand, why blah 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 blah. I don't know. I'm not perfect. Everything you do work out. No, baby. When I hit a dead end, I just didn't stop moving. I pivoted. I just pivot to the next thing. Just move to the. See, see, I learned that I don't want to be in any room that God has given the benediction in. Woo! Y'all don't want to hear me tonight. No, you can you can stay. I'll leave. Y'all don't want to talk to me. I, I will choose my peace mm. over your comfort any day of the week. Because guess what? I love me. Y'all don't want to talk to me. That's why I pivot. That's why I pivot. That's why I pivot. Because he never promised me. Watch this. This is going. This, I'm gonna hit this, and then I'm gonna move. He never promised me that it would be perfect. He never promised me that I wouldn't fail. He never promised. Y'all don't want to talk to me. He never promised me that this wouldn't be upside down and go crazy sometimes. 
Didn't promise me nothing. What did he promise you, Reverend? That he'd be with me. Mm. Okay, I'm trying my best. He will be with me even until the ends of the age. What's that mean? Till you age out of it. You can't age out of this one. You're going to have to die. He's with you till you get out of here. And the problem is, is that you've given God the benediction to stay in. Y'all don't want to hear me. Pastor, how do you know that he wants me to pivot and because he's with me? Well, I'm going to say this and I'm done. I'm, I'm for real because I don't want to get on this because I could stay on this. This way I'm finna go, I could stay here all night. But I'm not. I'm going I'm to I'm 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 swing by it and pivot. How do you know that he's always with you? Because the same writer, Matthew, says his name is, and they will call him Emmanuel, which means God with us, which means that what Matthew called him in Matthew 1, y'all don't want to hear me, Jesus calls himself in Matthew 28 because he is, okay, I'm through. I'm through. Put it on screen perfect time. He's so faithful, he can't leave you. So when he tells me to move, I don't look for somebody else to stand in agreement with the pivot. Who moves? Me. Who pivots? Me. Baby, I got a moving target. I thought y'all was trying to do this. I was, but now I'm over here doing this. Why? Because he moved. You, The worst thing you can do is be where God was. I'm through. The worst thing you can do is to be where God was. Talking about you remember when. That takes me to my third point. When do you pivot? When do you pivot? When the cloud lifts. Y'all don't want to hear me. I got I got Bible for days. I, I don't. Y'all, I, when I say I didn't feel it an hour ago, I didn't. I ain't felt it all day. But when do you pivot? When you think about it. Okay, I'm through. I'm through. I got to get out of here. Because when you start thinking, you start thinking. Y'all don't want to hear me. Y'all don't want to hear me. Yeah. See, that, that, that's one of my principles. Because clouds move, baby. Y'all don't. You keep trying to figure out why you can make it through what you're making it through. That's our worship pastor. You 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 trying to figure out how we can get through this thing called life, baby? Because clouds move. Y'all don't want to hear me. Why it's raining on you today? But remember that 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 cloud will run out of water, but it's gonna move sooner. Like y'all don't want to hear me. When do you pivot? When you feel like it's time, and when you can acknowledge y'all that this ain't gonna work out. When do you pivot? When you realize you know I'm, I don't think this is, you know. It's not working. This this thing is not. See, see, every now and then you have to re-examine your situation. You have to you have to look into that thing and say, you know, I don't think God is here anymore. When all you can talk about is what He used to do, y'all don't want to hear me. When you know God has left the scene, when all you have is memories of His presence, you know God has left the scene. When you no longer, oh, this is this is this is this is gonna bless somebody. When you no longer have vision, you only have memories. Woo! Back when we first started this thing, it was so hot. But what happened last week? What happened yesterday? What happened? What happened last month? What? 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 what, what but what are you doing in the next? See, see, sometimes. You need to understand that this thing, that's it. Well, y'all is on it tonight. You have to marry the vision. Date the method. It might change. It, 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 when do you pivot? Whenever the method needs to be changed. Let me explain something to you. You know you can burn up the engine in your car. Watch this. Thousands of dollars worth of engine. Because you refuse to put $3 worth of oil in it. Y'all missed it. Because you got to know when to change. Changing too light 
might burn you up. Y'all don't hear me. Changing too late may burn you out. See, you over here trying to think that you're doing this to make sure that everybody else keeps going. Baby, you better learn to change for you. Oh, man. Baby, I don't care if you fall when I leave. I, I got to do this for me. Know when to pivot. Because sometimes when to pivot is as important as pivoting at all. Because sometimes you stay so long, you fooled around and missed your next season. Standing your last season for too long. Don't, no, no. You don't want to be one of my favorite, one of my favorite, one of my favorite wrestlers of all time. Favorite wrestler, wrestler of all time. Uh, favorite wrestler of all time is, is Mark Calloway, also known as The Undertaker. He's my favorite wrestler of all time. He came out in pure black. They they had a one bell toll that would ring whenever he came out to the ring. He would come out walking slow and they would call him the dead man from Death Valley. He would walk out slow and he was known for destroying, burying, putting in caskets, throwing off of sails. He was a menace in the ring. Y'all don't want to hear me. But the worst thing that he did in the ring in an interview that I watched of his yesterday was the biggest fight he ever had in the ring was when he did not know when it was time to quit going in. He said the biggest fight he ever had was never in between the squared circle. It was in his head when he knew it was time for him to quit and something in him kept saying, keep going. And how many of us struggle because you don't know when to pivot and you could have went out when it was high. You could have went out when it was perfect. You could have went out with all the glory, but you, learned, you fooled around and stayed there too long. See, it's not about the season. It's about the pivot. It's not about the season. It's about knowing when to take the shift and you'll fool around and stay too long remembering about the good days because y'all he had some good days y'all he he had some great days he he had some days that it, in my childhood i used to dress up like the undertaker and put on the big soap dish uh washer uh gloves the big yellow ones and i would paint them purple and i'd had the big old exercising gym socks and roll them all the way up my calves because i was going to be y'all don't want to hear me i had the big vase that i took around with me with the wig y'all don't want to hear me and i was ready because i wanted to be like him but don't ever stay so long that you start mimicking who you were because you refused to pivot when it was time for you to go. Man. Third, I, they was in the back of my head. You don't want to hear me. I, I would be looking at you, ready to do it. With Jim Max, we was in there, ready to go. Y'all don't want to hear me. I'm ready to get kicked out of school because somebody going to get this choke slam. But you never want to be the guy that people look at. He said it in the interview. It blessed my heart. He says, you never want to be the guy in the ring that everybody's talking about how good he used to be. You got to know when to pivot. Yeah. Third thing, fourth thing, fourth, fourth. That's him. That That's it. Don't mess with me. Okay. The fourth thing you got to know, watch this. This is it. This is the blessed one. This is the blessed one. It's no where do you pivot to. But where do you pivot? You talked about the what. We talked about the who. Talked about the when. But this is the where. Where do you pivot? Watch this. This is this is this is why it's so 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 amazing. You pivot to unknown territory. Jesus says, "Go make disciples in all nations." The highways and byways is what the old deacons at my church used to call it. Y'all y'all don't y'all didn't grow up in St. Paul Missionary Baptist Church. Y'all. The highways and byways that we go uh, for, for 
Because we pray for danger seen and unseen. Y'all don't want to hear me. Because you have to pivot into the place you've never seen before because you're trusting a God to do something you've never had him to do. Go to all nations. Nations you know, nations you don't know. How can you go be, tell God you'll go into nations and you won't go across town? How do you pivot across the country but won't pivot across the city? How do you, how do you pivot across the country and won't pivot across the hallway? Y'all don't want to hear me. See, see, the problem is, is that we get to the end of our rope with stuff and try to change and make such drastic changes. You ain't even done the little stuff. Jesus says, I'm not asking you to create something. Do for them what I did for you. Do, do for them what I did for you. Go, go, go back. And when you see a woman with an issue of blood, heal her with just a touch. When you when you get when you run into a funeral procession, mm -hmm. and and as a man, watch this, watch this, y'all. This just dropped in my spirit. Mark four, Jesus goes and 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 there's a man in the tombs. Mark five, that Mark five one through twenty. There's a man in the tombs running around cutting himself. He's crazy. But Acts sixteen. There's a girl, y'all don't want to hear me. There's a girl that has a spirit in her. Paul said, that spirit got to come out of you. Why? Because I have to duplicate what I seen. Pastor Paul wasn't there. Mm -mm. But the spirit was there. It was something in the spirit. Say, anything that's in you that's unclean, I need to call out. Watch this, y'all, because I want you to hear me. Jesus in Mark 5 talks to the demonic man and the, 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 the demons, legion, tells him don't cast us out of the region because the enemy's camp is set up, the devil camps is set up, that, that they are organized. It's, it's our church people that, that, that we fight against each other, but they have regions set up. He says, don't send us out of this region. So he literally says, you know, don't go out of here, but just stay, you know, but you can't get him. So y'all can stay in this area, but you can't get him. I'm going to teach that. That's spiritual warfare. We'll get into the regional principalities of the enemy because you think that that spirit that's on your family came from somewhere else. No, that's been in your family. Y'all just now addressing what's in your family because it's a regional spirit. Oh, y'all don't talk to me. Okay. He, he Mark 5, he, he adjusts and deals with the spirit, the demon that's in the, the man. Acts 16 the little girl is walking behind them telling the truth. She's not, go read the text. She's not lying. Y'all don't want to lie. She's in the street telling the truth on the men of God. But the problem was, this is where I need y'all to hear me. This I'm talking about where do you pivot? You, you learn to pivot into new spaces when people have unauthorized access to your situation. Y'all don't want to hear me. They have unauthorized access to your situation. She had good information, but a bad source. And they had to pivot and they pivot. Watch this. When you learn to pivot, it always works out. He, they pivot and end up in jail. Yep, they did. They ended up in jail. Acts 16. And the Bible says, I, I, I can't get nobody with me. And the Bible says that and at midnight, I need y'all to hear me, that if it hadn't have been for a midnight experience that we've shouted about Years after years, sermon after sermon, we would not have. We don't know if Paul prayed because his name started with a P and Silas sung because his name started with an S. We would know. All we know is and at midnight they sung and prayed. But we don't we don't get that testimony until you understand they had to pivot in the beginning of the chapter. And people think that it is what got you in the mess that will get your name remembered. But some 
people, Christians, believers, church attendees, only know Paul and Silas's name because and at midnight. But people, y'all don't want to hear me because some people don't know how you got to where you are. They met you in your prison experience. But what they didn't know was the only reason you had a prison song because there was a prison guard that needed to hear your voice. Y'all don't want to hear me. That's why you pivot. You pivot into new spaces. You pivot into a place of trusting God. And he said, and I need somebody to hear me tonight. As for me and my house, mm, you don't get that until you willing to confront the girl in the street and say that evil spirit on you that they using to make money and, and prostitute off of you. They're trying to take advantage of you. They, 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 they've taken something that should have been used for good and adjusted it and used it for evil. But come here real quick. Yeah, I understand. See, see, in this season, you need to appreciate that some people that wanted to use you, they did not want to use you. They wanted to misuse you. They wanted to take advantage of you. But what God says is that you're going to run into your own Paul and Silas. I'm sorry, let me be biblically accurate. You're going to run into your own Paul because in the text, Silas says it's not a word. He's guilty by association. He literally only gets in trouble because he's with Paul. So my prayer is that for everybody watching me that needs to pivot in your life, you run into a Paul that's willing to tell you the truth. You got the right testimony, but the wrong spirit. Y'all don't want to hear me. Because see, what we're willing to do is do everything besides submit to authority and submit to, I, I know I'm right. I, I know I know the spirit they got on them. I didn't say you were wrong. I said your spirit was wrong. Y'all don't want to hear me. And the problem is, is that we don't want to submit to authority and belief that God can do what he said do. And the problem is you'll never pivot, which means you'll never move from where you are because you let a spirit stay on you when God sent your deliverer to cast it off. And you spent so much time saying, well, they ended up in jail. They ended up in this. They, they, they situation ain't all of that perfect. That didn't mean that what they told you was wrong. I didn't got off on a tangent. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, y'all. Let me get back to my text. Where do, where do you pivot? Old space. New space. Watch this. Anything different. You pivot. Where do you pivot to? A different location. Sometimes it's just moving. Just move. Just move. Just move. When I move, you move. Just like that. Just move. Just move. Just move. Just Number five. This is it. I, y'all, I told you I was going through five of them. How to pivot. Yeah. How do you pivot? How do you pivot? How do you pivot? How do you pivot? By not getting settled in any situation. That's it. Y'all missed it. Let me pause, come rewind, come back around a second time. How do you pivot? By not getting settled in any situation. Guess what, y'all? As much as I love, I love victory with all of my heart, mind, and soul. Y'all, I have victory of, over everything. Y'all don't understand how much I love victory. I love victory so much, y'all. I left what I thought was a, a situation that I was going to be in for the rest of my life to say I, everything victory. I love victory so much that our hashtag is everything. I love victory so much, y'all. <laughs> that, that 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 people that have called me with, with opportunities for more money, for more members, for different stuff, for this and that, I've never even entertained. I love victory so much, y'all. It is bananas. But at any time, if God ever tells me that he ain't with it no more, baby. You wouldn't be able to catch me smoke. You would, I promise you, I'd be gone so fast. You would, because there's nothing that I desire more than the presence of God. There's not a thing that I need or want that the presence of God can, 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 can that, 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 that God's presence trumps. I, let me tell y'all, I love God so much. I leave everybody for it. 
Give me you. I like that song. Everything else can wait. Lord, I hope, give me you. I hope it's not too late. Lord, give me you. See, see, that's how you pivot. You pivot by getting in his arms. Oh my God, I wish I had a good old B3 uh, organ right there. Cause, Cause right there is where I would, I would dip my head and scratch it right now, and my knee get itching. And, and I really want to tell y'all that, that, that if you want to know how to pivot, you, you get in it. Who opens doors that I can't see? Gee, I need y'all to understand that, that I, I, why do you do? Because I love them. Are you perfect? No. Do you make mistakes? Yes. Do you, do you, do you practice what you should be delivered? Yes. Sometimes I, y'all, I struggle. But guess what? When I get in his presence, come here, David. It's my sin that keep my worship strong. Y'all don't want to hear me. Give me you. Yeah, that's all I say every Sunday. No matter how I, no matter how I said, when I said, or how I am, or what everybody got going on, it's give me you. Yeah, see, 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 some of y'all struggle because you don't have a worshiping spirit. You can't, you can't pivot because your pivot is attached to your worship. See, you can worship when you get a choice. See, see, you you don't understand. You no, no, you when when you feel like your life is against the wall, I'm done for real. I'm I'm done. Yeah, let, put the offering stuff up because I got to I got to get out of here. But I, I feel it. When when I'm when I'm struggling with my week and I'm feel like it, it's not worth nothing, I say, Jaira, you're more than enough. That's what I tell her. You're more than enough. For whatever I'm lacking, you're more than. For whatever I need, you're more than. Whatever I desire, you're more than. You're more than enough. We do twenty dollars every Tuesday night. Jaira, you more. You know when my life, you know when when my life is tight and money is funny and change is strange and I'm I'm getting irritated. I don't know why I'm irritated. I'm bothered, but I don't know what's going on. I got stuff, more stuff than I got than I got understanding. And I'm trying to figure out why I'm doing what I'm doing and how this thing is gonna work out and how that thing is gonna work out. You know what I tell you? tell myself? It's already getting better. It's already getting easier. It's He's already moving on my behalf. He did it for me, y'all. I start speaking into my future about what he hadn't done. I speak to myself and tell myself it's already. Y'all don't want to hear me. That's how I pivot. I, I started with him. I might as well land with him. He says it perfectly. Come here, V. Mike McKay. In case you are broken, I'm done. On the wayside of life, dreams and visions shattered. You are broken inside. You don't have to stay in the shape that you're in. Why? Because the potter wants to put you back together again. I just need I just need somebody to say put me back together. Just that's, that's my pivot. Put me put me back together. Y'all that, that that thing that said in my spirit already tonight. It did. Because I promise you I didn't feel like doing it tonight. In case your situation has turned upside down. All that you've accomplished is now on the ground. You don't have to stay in the shape that you're in because the potter wants to put you back. Put me together, God. Together again. Yeah, put me back together. Put me. I messed up, God. I, I, I'm, I'm janky. I. I, 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 I've done. Y'all, it's at the potter's house. Y'all don't want to hear me. Y'all going to go listen to that song tonight because you'll never look at it the way you did before. Because you don't have to stay there. You Boys and men say, we've come to the end of the road. I, it ain't my end because he going to put me back together again. Okay, I'm done. 
God, we love you. We honor you. We thank you, God, as we prepare to exit our Bible study. God, cover and keep us, keep our minds, our spirits, our hearts clear and manifest your word in our lives that we can pivot this principle of pivot that we now know who, when, where, how, and what is a pivot. God, we thank you. For, for who you are and where you're doing and how you've done it, that your spirit reign and rule and rest in our lives. God, thank you for your anointing. Thank you for your authority, God. We thank you for those that have sown. We thank you for those that gave on last night, on yesterday, uh, towards our special offering. God, we thank you for the believers. We thank you for those that are watching us, that, that, that understand that, God, your word is true and you can rest and rule in our lives. In Jesus' name, we do ask these things and pray. Amen. Man, amen. Be blessed. Good night. See you all tomorrow night. You know, sometimes you just have to be riding down the street and just start telling yourself, you know, I'm saying, I, I don't feel. Somebody could get healed with stuff going on like that.